something I need to do too. I need to get myself out there. You know, this is actually really good. I'm actually proud of how this looks. She's a little... She's being a little teasy there. Probably gonna hit this. Shoot, I know. What'd you forget? What'd you forget then, my boy? Hope it's not something too, too, too important that, you know, you're gonna get in trouble for. The thumbnail of this. Not dumb. Yeah, I like the thumbnail for this uh, song. It's like some kind of xenomorph alien looking thing. Playing like a. Some kind of space guitar bass or something like that. Alright, so I'm gonna hit this. For another outline. I do it a dark purple. Better yet, I have a better idea. Let's just color the whole thing purple. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. I can still help you with that whenever you're free. Roadhouse. So who's your who's your favorite um SNK girl? Is there anyone I know? Just in case I when I'm done I could raid somebody. Oh god. <laughs> You've been binge watching the Fresh Prince, that's awesome. Mm. Okay.
I'm pretty sure Angel has to be a lot of people's favorite because she did one after all. That looks weird. I don't like it. <laughs> I never really thought about like who I like from SNK. Oh yeah, she must be a lot of people's favorite. She won pretty good on that poll. Oh god, that looks weird. So I've been thinking about buying this one game on my, my PC. How long is this movie? <laughs> Just realized, and looking at it, it's like, how long is this movie? I thought it was about to finish like a few minutes ago, and it's like continuing. How long is this? How long is Roadhouse? I don't know. Be like. Let's see. Uh, uh. Ten to one. Holy shit! It's a two-hour movie, then. Awesome. Jesus Christ, it feels like it's been out for like five hours. Well, we see got some got some viewers. Hello, welcome to the stream. If you guys want to feel like chatting about something, feel free to. Is it with or without commercial? It's with commercials. It's on what channel is this? MTV. It's classic MTV. Oh no no, it's uh, country, huh. music television. country music television. Yeah, see. Let's see. Oh yeah, country music television. That's a weird channel to be playing. Um. I mean, Road, 
Roadhouse is a sunshi uh, redneck Thanksgiving with strong calls for it. I hope I don't get in trouble. Give me a trouble. <laughs> Eric says, damn Xenotron. He didn't hear me. He's He has a switch with him. It's fine, though, that he has a switch. Oh, uh, who? Uh, so... Oh, what about a switch? Oh, no, no, no. He was saying, damn, Xenotron. I'm like, he can't hear you. He has a switch with him. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. You know, why do you keep up all my I'm kind of wondering what happened to Johnny Contra. He got pretty quiet in there. I don't like that. Don't like it at all. I'll get back to that after. Probably, he does tend to do that, especially during the weekend. So I'm not gonna bust his balls. He he does work really hard. Ooh. Johnny Contra. Oh yeah. He's all tuckered out. Yeah, no, this is probably around the time he goes out. Yeah. Gonna go get a refill. Okay. Oh yeah, so, getting back, before I got distracted by how long this fucking movie is, I'm gonna buy this one game on my PC called Boulder's Gate 3. Looks pretty interesting. I kinda like the fantasy-based type games. I kinda been playing stuff like that for a long time. I think... The first kind of fantasy game that I played like that was called Dark Alliance on the PlayStation 2. Both, actually. Dark Alliance 1 and 2. Can't find those anymore unless you want to pay a fortune. I still have my my original copies. Sadly, though, through time, it got kind of scratched up and buffed up. So they're kind of unplayable. But I keep them anyways because of the nostalgia feeling to them. I could dig them out to show you guys. Hold on. Let me show you. I'm going to look for them real fast. Are you right? Jesus Christ, I got to get Okay. So now that I realize, these are also Boulder's Gate. I'm an idiot. Well, here comes Xenotron. I was just giving everyone a brief history about what I do, what, I, what game I want to get. 
It's called Baldur's Gate 3, which I technically have played through the years. So check it out. I still got my copies from the PlayStation 2. This is what got me started in the whole fantasy, I guess, like RPG? Is that what they were? Yeah, they're RPGs. Yeah, these are RPGs. So I got my Dark Alliance 1. And of course, I got Dark Alliance 2. And you can't find these. And if you could, they're probably a for like a fortune already. Maybe it's the brand. Yeah. So I still got them, but you know, typical CD. You know, they're pretty buffed and scratched up. So I I'm, I redeemed them unplayable now, because I played them for so long. This one looks better than the first one. Yeah, I want to get part three of Boulder's Gate. Because this is what got me started on RPG on RPG fantasies. This these games rock. For me it was uh it was Final Fantasy uh four mm. or Final Fantasy two was known at the time in the US. Yeah. So they have it on Steam on um, Baldur's Gate 3. It's like 60 bucks for the game. It's not too bad. It's a typical, oh, nice. typical game. So I'm probably going to buy it, download it, and probably stream it. This movie is still going. <laughs> Let me put these back. Bringing out his death. Oh, speaking of which, so since I know you're a fan of the franchise, look what I still got on my PlayStation 2. Nice, you got solid. <laughs> this was like one of my all time favorite games. And then I started playing the one on the GameCube. You should, oh yeah, now that you've got a good PC, you should look for uh, uh, Tony Hawk's Underground Pro. I still got the booklet, and I still got my memory card with it, too. Yeah. And if I'm correct, yeah, this one's pretty scratched up, too. But, you know, I don't play these games anymore. Yeah, you guess you should get, uh, now that you've got a good PC, you should download uh, Thug Pro, Tony Hawk coming on Pro, that mod. It's, it's the one, it's, it's if he uh, takes the Underground 2 engine. And just gives it everything. So you get all the, like, almost every uh, skater and course and, and whatnot from all the previous games. Do I get... Do and I, it's highly mod modable. Do I get to play as Wolverine and Dark Maul? Yeah, I think they're in it. But you yeah. can also mod the game. Like, people are putting, like, Sonic or, like, uh, CJ and Big Smoke. Oh, God. Look at him taking out his little... Uh, what was it called again? Neo Geo? Neo Geo Beneath. I think I'll just play it through I was looking at the controllers to his Neo Geo, the, the hand controllers, the joystick. It is not feeling right. It's okay, it's not bad. It feels weird to me. Oh! Oh! Asian Pikachu just donated ten dollars. Hey. hey, thanks, man. Hey, show, show what I have. Oh, I gotta go handle something real fast. Okay, so this is his Neo Geo Xeno uh, mini. His mini. This is what Xenotron possesses. Look at look at these tiny little joystick and buttons. <laughs> Oh god, Asian Pikachu is doing it in is doing a reference. I'll be right back guys. Sorry about that.
I am back. I'm so sorry about that. Again, though, Asian Pikachu, thanks for the $10. I'm much obliged. Asian Pikachu says, the most electrifying Mexicana in KOF Entertainment. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Can we get a shout out to Asian Pikachu for the lovely donation of ten dollars? Just type in explanation mark S S O space and then you tag him. We don't if not one hundred percent how to do that, I I'll do it. There we go. Shout out to Asian Pikachu. Which Agent Pikachu does a shout out of himself. That's how, that's how vain he is about himself. He shouts out to himself. <laughs> so I want to do it too. Shout out. That's it. There we go. Shout out to Agent Pikachu for the, for the lovely donation. That puts me up to two hundred and twenty dollars for a wrestling school. Nice. Slowly but surely. Oh. Don't call me Shirley. And don't call me Shirley. How you doing, Asian Pikachu? How you doing? I'm still trying to figure out the bugs. I'm surprised no one said anything about Mai not being on the poll. Yeah, because I remember she, she was on a, the poll before and lost. I guess Mai's not all for good boys and girls, huh? Well, uh, I, I did like that she had variety, though, because I'm pretty sure if Mai was on there, she probably would have won. Yeah. And here you have other characters at the yeah, that's what I try to do. I don't want it to be like, oh, the most popular character be on there. For sure. Happy Sunday. Hey, look at that. It's midnight. Thank you. 
Mm. Are you using the tiny buttons or your controller? Mm -hmm. controller? I could try with the tiny buttons. Asian Pikachu is talking about how Melty Blood is making a return. Yeah. That's cool. No one expected that, so that's really dope. Right? And apparently it's going to have rollback net code. Spirit uh, Soul says, hmm, I wonder if people will get DMCA for playing Shredder's Revenge. I don't know. That's a good question. A good question indeed. The last time I remember, I was gonna say, um, the last time I heard about Melty Blood was back at the old arcade at Little Tokyo. Melty Blood was made by the same people who made who make the uh, Undernight games. Mm. And there's a Melty Blood character in Undernight. But uh, Melty Blood is, uh, I think it's like a spin-off of a. Uh, of some like visual, some some visual novel game called Super Moon, which is uh, it's made by Type Moon. I know it, it's it's somewhat related to Fate. Because I know I think they showed the characters in an anime or something like that. Yeah, I think they even have like the crossover with Fate. This movie is still going. Why? This oh, is a, I know, but it's a it's a long ass movie. Oh God, is it? Asian Pikachu says, "Funny how Mar Melty Blood is inspired from a hentai game." Yeah, it is. The more you know.
the more you know, and knowing's half the battle. G.I. Joe! Say, you wouldn't happen to find a pink purple suit in Sega, dude. <laughs> hey, kid! I'm the computer! Step all the downloading! <laughs> See, it's both those parodies and Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken. It kind of ruined a G.I. Joe. Well, not ruined it, but... Granted, yeah, like... Well, G.I. Joe is never serious. At least the old one. Have you ever seen G.I. Joe Resolute? Uh... Don't remember. It was like this adult sort of miniseries where they actually did like a dark, gritty take on a uh, G.I. Joe. Probably. And, and probably actually not. Get, you know, it's really good. It had like this badass, amazing fight scene between Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. I probably missed that. There's also that Spy Troops uh, show, which is super underrated. That Sally only it was like one or two seasons. It was essentially like a GI Joe take on the A Team, where uh, Duke has a small team and they get um, they get framed for a crime because Cobra in this universe is like a front for like some is a pharmaceutical company, but obviously it's a front for a terrorist organization. Mm. So they make it look like Duke and his team are responsible for some crime. So they're on the run from other G.I. Joes as well as fighting Cobra and have to clear their names. They turned it into the eight. It was a really cool take. That does sound like a pretty good take. Hey, what was I when all this happened? Oh, I yeah. must have been underneath a rock or something. Like the dumb you kid I was. You probably maybe find them on uh, 2D TV. Probably. I don't know if you ever used 2D. No. T-U-B-I. It's a free streaming service. You just got to deal with that. Hmm. But they have all sorts of cool stuff because um, and it's all legal. But they got like Super Sentai. They got all the GI Joe Transformers cartoons. I think you have the original Common Rider and Ultraman. Oh, nice. The '90s Conan cartoon that me, uh, McCla me, Sean, and uh, Nathan love. I must have been some kind of dumb kid under a rock because I missed all this great stuff. You can find all of Lucha Underground on 2B TV. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, get watch Lucha Underground and watch my boy, Marty Lamoth, kick some face in. You'll love it. Was it the, uh, the Weapons of Magic Sharks match with the Bill Shot was fucking awesome? It was. He said it hurt like a bitch. Oh, no, I bet. Sadly... He wasn't able to keep the helmet nor his bloody wristband. Uh, they kept it, and it's like, Blaine! He's like, I know! I really wanted to keep it! Which you think he should have been allowed to keep because it was his blood. Huh. Sucks though that Lucha Underground, you know, is dead. But its legacy will live on. Yeah, just, I I really love it. it. It was if you never went to an ECW show, you know, Lucha Underground was a good substitute. Also, just, I also love the whole like fantasy aspect of it. You know, they turned into Mortal Kombat and WMAC Masters, and like they're fighting like the uh, they're fighting uh, Rick from Splatterhouse and all this weird shit. They're they do the host body thing. <laughs> Oh, look at They got a flyer ready for the third My Hero movie that's coming out. Oh. I wish I got into My Hero like like others did. You just like it for the waifus. That's really all it is. Yeah, it's the waifus. There's Frog Girl and Bunny Girl and a few others. Invisible Girl? Yeah. The only thing that's holding me back, something like I guess Eisen said, main sorry, what? 
I think the only thing holding me back is the main character, like Kaizen. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, I could get over it, but it's like his constant bitching, you know, does kind of bring it down. Yeah. I mean, I think there's worse protagonists than Deku, though. Yeah, there's way worse. But again, like I said, I can deal with it. <laughs> they revive Lucha Underground? I don't I never heard about that. Asian Pikachu said the only reason you're a WWE champion for a year is because Triple H didn't want to work Tuesdays. <laughs> Oh, Agent Pikachu, yes. Hmm, really? So saying that he heard that they might revive Lucha Underground. Hmm? Um, so said that he heard that they might revive Lucha Underground. I don't know how, but almost all their people are gone. I mean, I would like for them to continue the story some way, but it, I mean, it's wishful thinking. I, I would love for it to come back. Yeah. Sorry, my allergies are kicking in. <laughs> what is going on? Run, fat man! He's gonna hit you! Holy crap. That car did a spyro and landed perfectly on its wheels. There's no one in that car. I just want to wrap my motorcycle. I got to get back to playing some video games, though. I got to get in contact with Johnny Contra so he can help me with some of these settings. We could be down the street with some stuff, uh, this, this week? Possibly, yeah. If I can, yeah. Ex I just gotta get in contact with Johnny Tonto so he can help me with my settings.
this is some weird music here. What is it? Is it metal or is it dubstep? I am confused. Hmm, interesting. So, so told me that he saw a link. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we just wanted to make sure you're saying that they, there's an article by, by Dave Meltzer reported in the Wrestling Observer Real Newsletter. There is the beginning of talk of reviving the series, which would be based around the same concept but with different names. Well, is it going to be a continuation or just an after revival? Who knows? I mean, Meltzer, his sources aren't wrong. He usually gets his shit right. I just think Meltzer is kind of lost his shit. He's kind of an asshole. The condescending prick. But <laughs> there's other stuff I want to say that I can't say. But um, he, does, he does get his sources legit. That'd be interesting. It, but if it's the two people, can they at least be Dario Cueto? That dude was awesome. Yeah. They should. Yeah.
playing King of the Monsters. I got Lucky Cup Cutter. Hmm? I got Lucky Cup Cutter. Playing King of the Monsters. Can it be King of the Monsters? I'm playing King of the Monsters. <laughs> cool 90s arcade game. That sounds cool. The, so, the first King of the Monsters is essentially like Kaiju wrestling game. Because it plays like a wrestling game. So oh, you, nice. you got your bootleg Godzilla, your bootleg got King Kong, your bootleg Ultraman, a golem, uh, uh, like a, a slime monster, which is like the smog monster from God, from that one Godzilla movie, and a giant cop with a wheel. And it plays like a like a wrestling game, just with kaiju. The sequel, though, King of Monsters 2, is more of a beat-em-up. Oh, nice. But they're both really good games. And I... Well, it's like the the Ultraman character is uh, that the Astro guy. Then he gets upgraded to the Atomic guy. Thinking about thinking about like Godzilla and King Kong. Right? Thinking about that skit we saw from Matt McMuscles is you. King Kong bring coming bring it in on a thing of balloons. Like I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to airlift them, but it just looks so goofy. And it's like I think they're just using dummies, or they were just put no, they would use the suits. I think it was the suits filled with like those or something. <laughs> oh jeez. I want to show you guys that link. Hold on. No, not here. There we go. Whoops. Good God, that looks ridiculous. Okay, guys, get a load of this. And get a load of this. Get a load of that, that King Kong on balloons. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen in a Godzilla movie. You know, I should watch that. You should watch that. Just just the fact of seeing a giant gorilla being airlifted on a like a bunch of balloons like up. And then when he falls he's all limp. And he slides down the mountain, bumps on Godzilla, and he slides down the mountain all in. Dude, it's so... I, I love, like, the goofy fucking 60s kaiju shit. Between that and Godzilla doing that drop kick? Or his little dance, or flying through the air by shooting his fire. Right. Oh, man. He went from being king of the monsters to king of the spook. You know they're bringing back that food like Godzilla from Ultraman? Oh, God. Yeah, because uh, the the most recent Ultraman series, uh, Ultraman Zepto, or I, or just Z, because you know it, it's Z around everywhere else around the world, but in America it's Z. So mm -hmm. Ultraman Z, the most recent one, that's the one with that goofy looking robot with the big googly eyes. Oh God! So he's getting his own spinoff where it's just him going through a gauntlet just fighting different kaiju, and one of the kaiju is that Godzilla. And it's the same suit with the fucking lizard frill neck. It's like, oh, dude, I never thought they would bring it back. What was that one movie where Godzilla, when the suit was starting to tear during the battle scene? Oh, I, I forget which one. It was with that one weird-looking bird monster. Like, dinosaur bird monster with, like, the girl claws, I think it was. Probably. I know there's, um, I brought my DVDs, but in Just Beyond, there's that weird, like, Teletubby alien sidekick, and that suit starts deteriorating as the show goes on. You see, it just becomes a horrifying nightmare. Fucking Tiki Winky. <laughs> yeah, <it looks> like <laughs> the modern Tiki Winky. Like Tiny Tiny Winky. Like Tubby Cuffer. <laughs> Where Heinz Post is like some really dark ass, like disturbing Teletubby's art. Oh, God. 
I've seen some people cosplaying like these zombie heli at conventions. It was great. Was it there a big stink about one of them being gay? Yeah, it was Tinky Winky. I mean, there was a big old talk. Yeah, there was this big old controversy about Tinky Winky. I'm just popping my back. You're like, well, that's, you know, that, that, that's, that's gay, and I want to be seen with Tinky Winky. Right. Look at this hillbilly, this mountain man with his shotgun. Not him, he's dead. Yeah, no, I, I saw him. Looks a bit like chum moved. It's like that one time when you power drive the Baba Yaga. Oh, it's like, it's like, I remember Trevor one time, uh, a two tone power drive the Baba Yaga, swear to God. Real story. <laughs> so I was like, dear God, what did I just watch? Probably the greatest thing in movie history. Now tell me, would you take it seriously if you saw a giant gorilla being airlifted by balloons, like, up? Would you take that seriously? Because I won't. I wouldn't. I'd be laughing my ass off. Especially how stiff he looks. He just looks like a puppet. You know, like, mm -hmm. King Kong, when he's on the balloons, he just looks like a puppet. He's oh, like, yeah. He looks like the he looks like the in sync music video. Yeah, I'm video. just about to say the album cover. And no strings attached. My I know that because my sister would fall into that at the time. Everyone's into that, so yeah. My sisters had the, the Barbie dolls because then they came out with the toy line. I remember when they tried to make them into superheroes. It's either them or Backstreet Boys trying to make them into superheroes. I think it was Backstreet Boys. I think it was Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. I just remember that shit was crazy. Because it was all the rage back then. Well, yeah, it was like, what, the 90s? Late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. So, like, I wouldn't take them seriously if I saw that. I wouldn't take it seriously. It, it, that would have been too funny to see a giant gorilla or left by a fucking balloons. The things they do in movies. It's hilarious. And I gotta do the final outline of this. 
Ah, uh, looks like the movie's over. What's this now? Is this part of the movie, seeing this guy play the bass guitar? Hmm? Is this part of the movie? Yeah, this is the end of it. Oh, okay. I thought there was some kind of music video going on. Wait, what the hell is this? Kind of want to watch it now. Let's pop it up here. Oh God! <laughs> You're watching it. You're watching it. This all this movie also has a scene where King Kong tries to shove a, a whole fucking tree down Godzilla's throat. Oh, there it is. Look, look at that limpness. I, I can't take this serious. This is supposed to be an action movie? I think that, well, you know, this is also the first Godzilla film in color. Yeah. Ugh, you just destroy that house. You know, so, you know, this movie originally was supposed to be Godzilla vs. Frankenstein? How will that work? There was a, there was a Toho did a movie with a giant kaiju sized Frankenstein. Oh, God. Um. And so, and, and I guess it was changed, uh, I don't know if it was last night or whatever, but it was changed to be Godzilla vs. King Kong. And uh, that's why in the movie, King Kong gets supercharged by electricity. Because it was meant to be uh, Frankenstein. But, you know, they had to give him something. Right. Because they made him Godzilla size, and they had to give him some kind of advantage. It's why, like, uh, I haven't seen Godzilla vs. Kong yet, the new one. But it's why you see Kong with a fucking axe. Right. Godzilla trying to climb, that's amazing. <laughs> that got that King Kong face, it's like Durr. He's doing his derp face. Oh sorry folks, I'm just watching this video. <laughs> he knows all that over. That's what's gonna happen in the new movies. It's just be throwing boulders at each other. Oh, Connor knows all that shit too. This is great. Wait till you get to my favorite part. If it shows it, it should show it. That, that King Kong sure moves really human-like for a gorilla. Well, it helps that the suit isn't like this super, like, overtly designed bulky monster suit. It's a gorilla suit, which is easier for a guy to move in. Unlike Godzilla's? Yeah. Same thing with the, the suits from War of the Gargantuas. They're just giant Sasquatches. Right. How long is this? Pretty long. Hey, I'm down. Watch it. Watch it. Fucking throwing boulders at him. He's just throwing boulders. He rolls. The dark floor. What the fuck? He smashed his face. What? Did he just knock himself out? King Kong literally, oh sh! King Kong just knocked himself out. <laughs> Good job, King Kong. He had one job. Or something. Oh, he's taking those tail shots. 
Ooh. What the hell? <laughs> We're gonna... That was a mean cut. Oh, stop motion. Oh, God, that stop motion. Stop motion right there. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. He's now... Oh, here comes the clouds. Uh oh. Oh my. Th this would be funny if the, if the new movie just re re reenacts this scene. <laughs> That'd be great. Jesus Christ, taking those tail shots are like crazy. They could hit me with your tail, but it's not my tail. <laughs> Is this the part where King Kong becomes Super Saiyan? You want to see me turn into a Super Saiyan? Oh god. Oh god, he's even glowing. Fine up power of grace. Oh god, he sits up like Undertaker. Damn. King Kong with a de static shock. I put shock. Oh my god, this is this is gold. He just, yeah, he's just doing go all UFC on Godzilla. Beating the shit out of him. Or they're surrounded by fire. Oh, can you imagine how hot that was? Being in those suits surrounded by actual fire? Um it's almost done. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh my <laughs> god. Damn it, Eat this fucking tree. Oh shit. Dude, that was some. That was real fire. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god, he just judo flipped him. That was great. Uh, I would show this, but I have to make a new tab for it. This is great. I, right? God, they're destroying all those houses. And this toy helicopter. Has like a few more minutes. Let him go. Well, I always like really bad lip sync dub of like old Japanese movies and stuff like that. Like when we watched that one uh, Hong Kong superhero movie, Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> well, not scared at all. Not at all. Oh, right on the building. Push on a castle too. I give them props for all these buildings they build for the for the sets. Jesus, they don't even bother going around the building. They're just going right through it. Smashing this big fucking samurai castle. Right. Ah. Uh. Uh, all that, all that hours of work. I know that looks so good. In the That's where the budget goes. I bet for these movies goes into the props and sets. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, uh, oh my God! And there they go off the cliff. Oh God! They had to get both the suits wet. How heavy the King Kong suit must have been being all wet. Oh Jesus, yeah. 
I think that's how it ends. Yeah, that's that's how it ends. That was something. I think I'm gonna do that a new segment on my stream, you know, reaction videos. Let me fix something on my thing right here. There we go. Okay. There we go. So yeah, that was something. What's this now? Music videos. Yeah, no, uh, well, it's one o'clock, so nothing's gonna be on. Some adults, Food Wars and Boondocks. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to do a program updating. That's cool. All right. All righty, back to the drawing. I spent a whole nine minutes, thirty seconds looking at a, an old movie from like what? I forgot. Nineteen sixties. Nineteen sixty. You were cum back then. Actually, no, you weren't even cum. You were just a gleam in your daddy's eye. I don't think my dad was around in that year. I want to thank everyone that's stopping by, that's here right now. Where does Nathan live at again? Uh, he lives in North Dakota. North Dakota? Yeah, in Fargo, don't you? Hmm. I gotta get Johnny Contra to do one of my videos with me. Sure. If he's always av if he's available. Isn't Eisen streaming? I don't, I don't know, maybe. I thought he streams. I always thought he did. Huh. Okay. Now it doesn't look like anything you're going to like is going to be on. But look at uh, 2.30. 2.30. So, 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 squid Man. Or Squid Man. Are you, some people just saying like 4S or quadruple S. Demon Slayer at 3. Where's S. Cryhead? 
I mean, squid. Scribe. Scribe. Star Wars. <laughs> he doesn't like it that I pronounce things wrong. No, it's just you do that specific piece of drawing game and told you, told you 20 times, please stop and respect that I don't want to hear it. You just keep doing it. I kind of humiliate me. I'm not humiliating, I'm humiliating myself. Because I can't pronounce words. So I'm probably going to be doing this until it's fully done. I don't want to do it like I did with the Chung Lee one, just do half of it. a good looking angel there. I see what's going on on the Twitter right now. I got a lot of things to do. I got things to edit. Lots of art. So says, so when are we going to be streaming Psycho Gorman? Gorman. Oh yeah, I need to get that. Never. <laughs> Never. I <laughs> Never. <laughs> I did so much to watch it, we'll watch it. I know, I know we're going to watch it, I'm just saying that as, as a joke. Okay, let me get to the final outline. Oh boy, oh jeez. I think it's high time to put something else on. Let's see, let's go now. Yacht World. Upbeat trans spooky polka metal. Dig my go back to my good old chip tune. Really likes the chip. Really like the chip tune music. Like where is it? Like? There it is. Much better. Mm. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I am drawing Angel from KOF, King of Fighters from SNK. She was the winning vote in my poll on Twitter. 
honestly, it was no surprise as she won. She's a pretty popular character. So I am just doing the final outline. Did I do that? Did I change the song? Huh. Weird. I really like how this design looks. Anyways, so said either that or Nicolas Cage in Willy Wonderland. Do you know? Yeah. Um, so said either that or Nicolas Cage's new movie, oh, I Willy Wonderland. Yeah, yeah, the only movie that he doesn't talk in. I want to see if this Discord link works. Yes, it does. Sweet. I got the right link. For those who's watching right now, how's your week going? It is lovely, one almost 1.30 in the morning here in Los Angeles. I've been at this for almost a little over two and a half hours. Two hours, 46 minutes.
Whoops, I didn't mean to click that button. I don't know why I clicked that. Oh my god, my wrists. The moment I get 50 followers, I'm gonna start making a bunch of cards and stuff like that. So if you guys are new to the channel, please follow, help the channel grow. I'm trying to get back to my groove of doing art streams and I'm gonna get back to video games soon. Taking my time on everything. I see something. Okay, I guess I'll tell you. Yeah. Yo, get back there. Yeah, that's my phone. Only four percent. Thank you. 
Tá aqui, só. Hmm. I know I keep going on my phone. Just want to see who's still on. Dang, more people liking Chung Lee. Okay. That's cool. This art's pretty good. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I keep doing that for some reason. You didn't say nothing. Didn't say anything. Ah. Hmm. Oh boy. Something about inking afterwards takes the longest. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm more focused to make sure I get all the lines filled in so nothing is open. But in the end, it looks good. So, because it doesn't really matter how long it really takes me to do line arts.
Are you all tuckered out over there? Hello. I mean, we went to bed pretty late last night. Yeah. Let's not try to do that again. Hope you guys are liking the stream so far. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Hmm. Ah. So I had to stretch out my back. After a while from sitting down for like over three hours, your back starts to hurt. So 
that looks weird. That thing that looks weird. So. So, I guess uh, today is Sunday. Do you want to order something still? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Can we order another one or no? Something else to get. Most of mine. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Yeah. I'm on the kitchen, man. I know you are. It's a lovely sad, uh, Sunday morning, just streaming. Really don't mind how late it's getting. Really. I'm actually having fun. Let's see, need to go take a leak. Let me say this, and I'm gonna go take a little leak. So I'll be right back, guys.
Hello everybody, I am back. Grid came back on. Ugh. I'm back from my little break. Give me some time to stretch. How's everyone doing? Everyone doing really good? Where are you guys from? What do you guys do for a living? Just trying to pick up a conversation. So don't mind me. Might have to fix that shoulder. Sorry if I'm sounding a little low. Don't want to wake my nephew next door. So in case you're wondering, my buddy over there is playing on his little Neo Geo game, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Now I was just telling the, the audience about the little Neo Geo arcade right here. Oh yeah. This tiny little box right here. Look at that, look how cool that is. Just, of course he's not using the actual buttons, he's using a joystick. Using like a controller that came with it. Yeah, because yeah, I can't be arched to play. Not with those big meaty hands. Uh, yeah, yeah, what no, we have? Because I would have to go like, I could probably do that, but you know, I'll have to take the table. You're not going to be able to pull up those combos. <laughs> nah, not with those tiny sticks. I think Frankie will probably do a better chance. Hey, I could try with him. So I'm getting into the music.
See, any kind of movies on right now. Buttons and Christmas tea. Are we ordering food? No. Not at this hour. Why, why ask? But don't tell me you're hungry or um, Asian, Asian. Oh, I mean, if we're talking about what we were talking about earlier, that's for like tomorrow or later today. No, 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 we were talking about something for later. Like, in the morning wise. Nothing like for right now, it's too late to order anything really. So what you up to, Agent Pikachu? What are you up to tonight? Or this morning? Oh nice, you're playing TMNT? Nice. Hope you and your family are doing safe. Life's getting really crazy right now. People are getting stupid. Asian Pikachu is playing TMNT. Which one? Which TMNT are you playing, Asian Pikachu? Is he playing uh, Cross Justice and Turbo? I don't know. <laughs> the beat em up one. The beat em ups. Oh, 
Uh, so I'm look for uh, TMNT Rescue Palooza. He said to look up TMNT Rescue Palooza. That one, all three of one I showed you, they had ten level. Yeah. See, I'll just... You gonna tuck out out of my ass? You want me to tuck you in? You read your bedtime story? You. Oh. No, I'm not that tired. You're not that tired? Ugh. See, it is 2 a.m. here, and I've been streaming for three, like three hours and 33 minutes. <sighs> I would like to finish it all, but it is getting really late here. I might just do the line art, maybe fill her in. Then I'll eat the end the stream there. That way I can relax afterwards. Always plug in my phone. Depending who's also streaming at this hour in my raid, if not, you know, I don't really have to raid. Yeah, I don't have it, but like I said, it really depends on who's streaming. Usually if it's someone with a lower, lower views than our raid. Thank you. 
Yeah, I think that will be the plan. Just finish the line art. And then I'll color in. And I'll do the rest on off stream. Right. You get fist bumped to this music. I'm thinking like the like the Pac-Man uh, ones. Yeah, and, and you know like the classic Mega Man. Yeah, the Pac-Man ones. What about that one song from Sonic? Good point. Like the one that um Dorkly made fun of. Oh yeah, dude, flying gravity. That one. That's the one that it is. Yeah, that was really good. I couldn't remember the name. It's, it's from Sonic Three, and it's like, oh yeah, and that sucks that you know those Sonic Three will never get a re release. Sonic Three and Knuckles won't be released because there's some legal issue with the music, and I and I remember a shout out to a. Uh, to Budabu or China or Berlin, I forget which which uh, name. But you know, she said it wasn't because of Michael Jackson. I think it was like the right thing with another composer. Mm. Now you can buy Sonic Three on Steam with the was it that Sega Genesis Collection thing? Oh, nice. Because what's cool about that is getting the Sega. Because yeah. Sega Genesis uh, slash Mega Drive Collection on Steam. Uh, you buy the games individually, but I usually wait when there's a big sale and you get the, all of them together for super cheap. But what's cool about it is that, uh, and I get, it supports VOD support, so people are able to get ROM hacks and ROMs of other games and put it on there. It just uh, some of these just require you to have enough uh, a game that you can buy. That's understandable. And someone w was able to use, uh, they're able to remaster uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It requires you have the, the Steam version, but yeah, they remastered that. That one's Super Mario World. They also, uh, I guess, one of the original programmers for Sonic 3D Blast made a director's cut to fix a lot of issues. And you can easily play that on screen. But I would. I remember I was showing you and Eisen on stream one time. I was playing like uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Your butt is wide, well mine is too. <laughs> you watch your mouth, I'll sit on you. <laughs> The national fat person song. I'm fat, you know it.
regardless, that song still slaps. Yeah, you can say all you want about Michael Jackson. There's a lot to say. Fuck his music. This is still awesome. You're right. I still enjoy it. Weird Al's? Oh, uh, Michael Jackson. But Weird Al's too. A lot of the songs on this, on this one does kind of have like a lot of Genesis type sounds. It's heavily in influenced. No, I'm almost done. I just gotta no, go. cool. I'm just get enough. Yeah. Not as fat as me. No, I'm way fatter. I start doing my streams earlier. Yeah. Uh, every time I see the numbers go up, must be someone watching. Hello, welcome to the stream. That sexy beast over there is my friend, Xenotron. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying your weekend, your spring break. I am here drawing Angel from King of Fighters. She was the winning vote of my poll on Twitter, which I'm getting back to. So if you want to check out any kind of poll I do in the future, you can click down below and you check out my social media pages. Mostly Twitter though, because I can't do polls on Facebook for some reason. I'm more active on Twitter anyways on Facebook. But whatever I put on face on Twitter, I do originally put on Facebook too, so. Ah, almost a four hour stream. It's crazy. I think I've done longer before. I think I've done almost like a seven hour stream before.
Oh, excuse me. I think this is like one of my best poses yet. Oh wow, that's really good. Something about this pose I really, really like. Sorry, I'm I get achy for sitting down for so long. Test. Oh, that's good. Whoa, float on here. That's what I don't like. Much better. Hmm. This way here. No, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You're real comfy on my bed.
Okay, there we go. That looks better. Oh no, what, what? That's looking good actually, I like that.
That's what we've so far, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Hello, phone, chill. Let's see, almost four hours. Jesus. <laughs> like I said, though, this isn't the longest I've done. I've done longer. Like, I, I think I did like a seven hour stream before. It's a good thing though that there's no. Uh, it's, everything's on spring break already. Uh, hope everyone's enjoying their sa their Sunday morning, Saturday night than I am. I'm here in front of this computer screen entertaining all of you. As much as I could. Uh, not so far. Look good so far, and then we just... Boom. I really like how this pose came out. Oh yeah! It was great. So I'm just gonna do the outline and then I'll fill her in and then I'll call it a night. Pretty sure half the people watching need to go to bed. Want to go to bed. Probably. Honky Dong. Honky Dong. Thank you, Tony. We checked him in and returned to Lunk. The Adventures of Lunk. That would be the best Zelda game ever. Have you seen those videos? The yeah, is over. 
Thank you. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Okay. Make sure there's no openings. So far, it looks really good. Okay. Save it again for some reason. Let's get to coloring, and then that's where I'm ending the stream. Okay. Let's bring up this. Because I downloaded this. I'm gonna get some skin tones correct. Because it's always hard to find a skin tone. Especially when a drawing's like this. Let's see now, she has to be around the tanned section. Oops. Oh wow, this one. Oh, there it is. That's why I wasn't showing. About to say, wow, that really sure blends in. Okay, what skin tone will look good on her? <laughs> Anything that's pale? She can't be pale. Oh wow, the, this one actually looks pretty spot on. Okay, we're gonna put this one. Because this one looks pretty spot on to her skin tone. What about this one? Oh wow, this one especially does. Okay, let's try something. Let's, let's color in to see how it looks.
Okay, so let's color her with the first decision. Hmm. Which one is this one again? I think it's this one. Yeah. I think that one's a little bit too... Too long, Jimmy. Let's try this one. Hmm. Kind of like this one, just a little better. What is this kid right here? What do you guys honestly think this skin tone kind of like this one mm. okay so I'll just stick with this skin tone it works Jagger looks like it's like a purplish. Probably go with this one. Okay, by the looks of it, the gloves. Hmm. Well, it looks like I messed up on her cufflinks. Wasn't paying attention. They have a point out. That's that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. I can fix those. And I forgot to put on the the things there. Another easy fix that I can easily do. Alrighty.
And now her tights are just... Her blue. Okay, so is her bra. Speaking of which, I remind you, I got a poster commission up that I recently did. Share it with everybody. There we go. I don't want time. Yeah, so this is your typical gold. Make it a tad brighter so I can see it. Over there. Over there. I'll fix that. Ooh, look how messy that looks. So many openings. Are you saying something? Oh no, I'm just talking. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, I don't even trip. There's just some stuff I have to fix. I messed up on her jacket. Turquoise type colors. Oops. Wrong layer. Alrighty, that looks good. She has. Look at her eyebrows. Um, I guess they're like a dark brown, I guess? No, that's what it looks like in the picture. Figure it out. And then her eyes are blue. Should make them a little brighter. There you go. You know what? Does it make her eyebrows white? I'm gonna shade them in anyways. Makes things less complicated. Alrighty, that's her color. Not bad, not bad at all. But I'm gonna have to fix her cufflinks. They have a point. They have a trying like a point out, see? I left that out. I forgot to put the detail on the bottoms. So I can do that point still. That one and right here. Yeah. I'll do that and then I'll submit the line art. I won't submit the colored one on Twitter just yet. But this is where I'm going to call it a day. It's been a 
I'm gonna raid somebody. Let's see. Who's on right now that I can raid? Let's do our buddy Ghost in the Machine. Ghost in the Machine. Okay. Where is my mouse? There's my mouse. This is in my way. Ghost. And the. There he is. Ghost in the machine. So let's go raid Ghost in the machine. I will finish this off stream. Because I've been on here for already over four hours. It is going to be 3 o'clock here in Los Angeles, so guys, thanks for watching. Let's get the stream going, the raid going. I'll see you guys on the next stream. Thanks for watching, and thanks Agent Pikachu for the $10 donation. See you guys around. So I am done.